This is Alan Bush with ADMIS. In the stock index futures, we are seeing prices lower in the overnight trade. Most of this weakness linked to heightened tensions along the Ukraine border. However, we have seen some recovery, at least a partial recovery, with better than expected economic reports. For example, we did have the GDP in the second quarter coming in up 4.2 percent. That compares to the guess of up 3.9 percent. Uh, also, we did see pending home sales uh, coming in better than expected, so that causing stock index futures to bounce off of the lows. One thing to keep in mind, since this bull market started in March of 2009, the geopolitical events that came along the way basically only temporarily got in the way of the bull market for stock index futures, and I think that will be the case again this time. So even though we are seeing uh, some fears due to uh, geopolitical events, this will only get in the way temporarily. The bull market is still intact. I think we will see some new historical highs in some of the indices within the next uh, two to three weeks. Longer term, there appears to be a lot left to the upside in stock index futures. Over in the currencies, flight to quality buying helping the dollar index to advance. Seeing some pressure in the euro currency, this after Germany's employment numbers coming in a bit weaker than expected. Uh, seeing the pound holding up relatively well, uh, just a bit lower, even though we did have a report from the Confederation of British Industry indicating that August retail sales in the UK accelerated and they are predicting further gains for next month. The yen a little bit higher in a flight to quality bid in light of uh, the geopolitical situations. However, we feel longer term that the yen will probably be the weakest performer, and I would expect the gains that we are seeing today, even though they're very small, to be eroded. Even the yen could trade lower on the day today. Uh, the dominant influence is the need for the Bank of Japan to add more liquidity to their banking system. And a recent poll showed that over half of the Analysts polled uh, suggest uh, and believe that there will be some type of additional uh, quantitative easing probably before the end of the uh, coming February. So look for lower in the yen. Interest rate markets, new highs for the move in the 30-year bonds. In fact, we are at 14-month highs, even though there is talk that the Fed will raise interest rates in the middle of next year, which is putting some pressure on the short end. The long end continues to perform exceptionally well. So look for further strength in the 30-year bonds. This bull market has a long way to go, but make sure you're focusing on 30-year bonds to the long side. Once again, these are my opinions alone and are not the opinions of ADMIS or Archer Daniels Midland.